Good evening. I'm Matt Hallsworth coming to you live from home tonight. Now, there are few high school athletes quite like Dejour Reeves. Soft-spoken but loud on the basketball court. That's because he lets his game do the talking, something we've all come to appreciate from Corcoran's all-time leading scorer. But as he recently told me, the abrupt end to the season will always leave a bad taste in his mouth. It was a pretty big deal. I wanted that, but I wasn't like really looking forward to getting that. I just wanted a championship, but I got that as well. So I was very excited again, all time being a scorer. More than 1,500 points in his high school career, as a matter of fact, standing all alone as perhaps Corcoran's greatest boys basketball player. Got a lot of uh, people that look up to me outside of basketball, so yeah, I miss it a lot. February 14th, the day Dejour Reeves became the Cougars' all-time leading scorer. Oh, it's all love. They've been supporting me since I came to Corcoran. Then came March 7th, the day Corcoran entered a 20-year drought, winning a sectional championship. Last year we lost here, and we had to uh, come back. But the dream season for Dejour was interrupted when the coronavirus came to crash the party, virtually ending the biggest moment of his high school basketball career. We worked hard for nothing, basically, and it was really nothing to say. We were just all heartbroken that we couldn't finish our senior season. Now imagine leading your high school basketball team to its first sectional championship in 20 years, and then suddenly not being able to go any further than that. Disappointing isn't even the word to describe it. But you know what Dejour Reeves tells me is even more disappointing than that? not being able to finish out his senior year here at Corcoran High School. No senior prom, no senior prank, nothing. Yeah, I miss seeing my teachers and my friends because right now we can't see each other like that. So yeah, I miss seeing my teachers and friends. It's a feeling certainly none of us can relate to, missing out on everything that makes your high school senior year so great. But college is, of course, right around the corner a chance for Dejour Reeves to prove just how good he really is. The way the coach was talking to me, he, he really believed in me, and he believes I could make it to a major D1, so that's why I took that Juco route. Seward County Community College is up next, a top-tier junior college men's basketball program located in liberal Kansas, a place where boys turn into men, and JUCO players transform into Division I talents. It's going to be sad because I don't want to leave my mom and my brothers. So it's really going to be sad going so far too. So it's like I can't turn around and come back home. Who knows where he ends up in two years. But what we do know is Dejour Reeves was one of the most fantastic basketball players Central New York has ever seen. Now with a chance to start something new. Uh, it means a lot because a lot of people, they stayed with us even when we had losing seasons. They were still supporting us wins or losses, so I really thank them for that. Now, Lauren, I'd like to clear up some confusion from after the 6 o'clock show. Mm -hmm. I was trying to refer to Last Chance You on Netflix, uh, and the reason for that yes. is because they were highlighting <laughs> Independence Community College in mm -hmm. Kansas, which is a high level of junior college sports. They play in the same conference as the school that Dejour Reeves will be mm -hmm. attending next year, Seward County Community College. This is a very high level of junior college basketball. This kid averaged yeah. nearly 27 points per game this past year at Corcoran, so he has a bright incredible. future ahead. Yeah, he <laughs> certainly does. He is an incredible basketball player, Matt. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We'll be right mm -hmm. back.